Hello students. So now we are going to start visualizing solid shape part 3. Now our topic has come to prism and pyramid. So these are very confusing terms. So now we will uh, differentiate between them. Okay. So now let's see what is a prism. So take any two congruent figures. Let's say square. Now I will join point to point. And you will see that I have come, I have uh, made a square prism. In this example also, I have made two congruent triangles. And I have joined the vertices with one another and I have to got prism. So that is a prism. So what is a prism? That when two congruent figures are joined vertices to vertices that is known as prism now what is pyramid so what is pyramid let's say i have taken a figure let's say square only okay now i have joined all the vertices as one point okay so this is a point so when all the vertices are joined at one point that this figure is known as pyramid. So now we are able to understand the difference between prism and pyramid. So what is prism? When two congruent figures are joined, when two congruent figures, their vertices are joined with one another, they are used to form prism. While in pyramid, when uh, any figure is taken and all the vertices are joined at one point, that is a pyramid. Now we will understand a new term. That is Euler's formula. So, first of all, I would like to tell you that Euler's is the name of a great mathematician. Okay. So, what is this uh, formula is that if this is a formula. F plus V is equal to E plus 2. So, when we need to, to take face or vertices or edges, we can use this formula. So, now I would like to remind you that what is faces, vertices and edges. So, I have made a figure here. That is a cube. Okay. So, faces is this part. Okay. This polygonal region. So, this is the faces. Faces. Okay. Front, back, uh, top, bottom, side. Okay. Now, what is vertices? So, I, uh, first of all, edges. What are edges? So, these line segments, as you can see in this diagram, are edges. While vertices are there, when these line segment join at one verte vertex, that is known as vertices. Okay. So, this Euler formula is this only. We are given a faces or vertices or edges. Okay. Okay. So, here I have taken an example. We have to find vertices when faces are 5 and edges are 9. Now, we will use this formula. So, faces we know, that is 5. Now, we have to find. So, that will be equal to 9 plus 2. Okay. Now, 9 plus 2 is 11. 5 plus V is equal to 11. Or I can simply say that uh, what, is, what is is equal to 11 minus 5. Or, uh, the answer will be 6. So, using this Euler formula, we are able to find the vertex, vertices, by when we are given faces and edges. So, here I have a question for you. In this question, you have to find face when vertices are 6 while edges are 12. Okay? So, I have told you what was the formula. Yes, faces plus vertices is equal to edges plus 2. So, faces we have to find. Vertices I have taken 6, edges is 12 and plus 2. Okay. F plus 6 will is equal to 14 because 12 plus 2 is 14. Now F will here and 6 will go by transportation method and plus sign will become minus. So 14 minus 6 will be 8. So, so by this we are able to find when vertices are given and edges are given we are able to find the faces. So, 
I would I would like to remind you the Euler's formula. So what is the Euler's formula? That was faces plus vertices is equal to edges plus two. So here we are using that formula only. So when you are given that you have to find edges vertices of faces, you can use the Euler's formula. So that for that was for today. Oh, thank you. So by this Euler formula. We are completed with this chapter. Thank you for your cooperation.